Hey everyone and welcome. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at things that the media are trying not to tell you. <laughs> now, if you didn't know, Germany are in a bit of a quandary at the moment. The powers that are in power at the moment are deciding that the right doesn't deserve a voice in p political discourse and are trying, <laughs> desperately trying, to ban all of the parties. Well, it's much more extensive than you think. <laughs> And I do believe that we have rock, rock, rock dicks, and I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Seems that the people of Germany, the, you know, the real people of Germany, the ethnic Germans, are getting a little bit, how can we put this, pissed off. <laughs> and have decided that they're going to make parallel economies and parallel states. Now, this is glorious to see. Now, this is in The Guardian. So, obviously, the slur words that they use are just trying to make everyone go, Oh, the naughties! <laughs> it starts with a headline of far-right extremists. <laughs> in other words, people that don't want rape, murder, and stabbings, and death, and shootings, and bombings in all of our cities. You know, those sort of far-right extremists stage rural land grab across Germany. Now, this movement is called the Reichsburger. No idea what that means, because I'm not a German. <laughs> but it aims to establish parallel societies by infiltrating schools, clubs, and public offices. Now, obviously, this has enabled the left to brand them far-right extremists for doing exactly what they've been doing for the last 30, 40 years. You know, the slow march through our institutions, infiltrating our schools, clubs, and public offices. You know that thing? Now they're terrified that the right are going to do exactly the same thing, and they're calling it a rural land grab. A strategic rural land grab, to be exact. Now, it, what they're saying is it's taking place across Germany with the concerted aim of creating communities independent of the state. How glorious would that be, everyone? Would you live in a community independent of the state? Because I know I would, according to the domestic intelligence agency and government ministries. So they're going to be screaming, Oh my God, we can't allow them these horrible people to do this. Now, I would actually say if it's a rural land grab, it's probably indigenous people that are living in cities that have now seen their cities devolved with policy into third world shitholes. Now, this is happening across Europe. It's not just in Germany. Now, there is a term for it. Starts with colour and ends in flight, isn't there? So they're saying because people are moving out of the cities, these horrible hell holes that media and the state have created, because people are leaving, they are now rural land grabbing. Probably the fact that these people that are crying about this, like the media and the leaders and the elites, have all got summer homes in these rural areas and they don't want any new people. It's funny that, isn't it? They never seem to want new people in their areas, but everybody else can like it and lump it, especially city goers. And if you leave, if you leave, you'll be immediately branded an extremist and a far right and you're stealing land. Absolutely shocking. Maybe, just maybe, you fraggles, if you didn't bugger up our nations, we wouldn't need to be going into the rural areas and you wouldn't have to worry about your summer home being surrounded by people that don't want to be in cities anymore. The cities that you've turned into cesspits. Although that's using logic and reason and I don't think you've got either. Now, authorities and NGOs monitoring far-right groups say the members of the Reichsburger movement who reject the post-1945 German state are making a targeted effort to establish parallel societies and infiltrate existing structures including schools, clubs and public offices. According to a recent request for information to the Federal Interior Ministry, Right-wing extremist organisations have bought 40 properties across Germany in the last two years. Wow, that's amazing, isn't it? 40 pro properties. It's massive. Everybody should be scared, everyone. Be very, very scared. Don't leave the cities. Just like it and lump it. As Sadiq Khan said, it's just part and parcel of living in a city, getting raped, getting shot, getting stabbed by people that don't deserve to be there. It's just part and parcel of living in it. It's diversity is our strength, isn't it? Now, this is good to see. I actually am quite happy at the fact that they're trying to start up parallel 
societies because the society that these idiots in charge have created for us is not a society that I want to live in. Is it one that you don't want to live in? And it's definitely not a society that Germans want to live in. So well played to you. If this takes off across the West, it would be glorious, wouldn't it? I'd actually live in a place where the state has no say over your life anymore. Imagine that. Imagine if we could just get rid of the state altogether. That'd be glorious. <laughs> Stay sane. Let me know what you think in the comments, everyone. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Please check in regularly because you don't get notified of my channel's new postings usually. And I'll see you on the next one.